All the thrust of the propeller is applied onto the big pulley and onto the big pulley bearings. So be sure that every 100 hours, as Vitorazzi recommends, you change them because you don't want them to break or to seize while you're flying. And release the tension directly to the kit. Hi there, my name is Stefan. Welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series. And today's episode is about changing the big pulley bearings. Let's do it. For this operation, we will need some special tools. And those are small ratchet, long extension, short extension, 5mm bit, 13mm socket, special pliers for safety C clip, the special Vitorazzi key for belt tension adjusting, torque wrench, hammer, gloves, of course eye protection, and heat gun. Removing the big pulley from the engine is a pretty simple operation. We already have a video about that, the video where we changed the clutch, so please be sure that you will watch that. If you didn't, please go in the description down below and you will find the link to that video. First, we need to remove the C clip that holds the bearing in place. Now we will use a heat gun to heat this big pulley up to about 130-150 degrees and the ball bearings will just slide out. Now let's put this aside. To remove the bearings from the eccentric, first we need to remove the safety C clip. Now using the, again these two pieces of wood, we can hammer out the bearings. When installing the new bearings on the eccentric, what I like to do is to put the eccentric into the freezer for at least 2-3 hours so it will contract just a few thousands of millimeter and I will apply a little bit of heat onto the inner part of the bearing without damaging the rubber C cap and they will just slide without any kind of hammering and without using brute force. So let's put this into the freezer for two hours. Now that this part is cooled down all that we need to do is just to heat up the bearings. For doing that, please be sure that you have the right reduction for the heat gun. So when you put the bearing on, you hit only the inside and not the rubber caps. And again, just a little bit of grease for helping the bearing slide. We will do four sessions of four seconds on the gun, two seconds out. Four seconds on the gun, two seconds out. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, spacer, again, four sessions, one, two, three, four, one, two, and they just slide right in. Now install back the C-clip. Please be sure that it snaps in. After installing the C-clip that retains the bearing, bearings in place, now the bearings installation onto the eccentric is complete. We should proceed with installation of the whole assembly into the big pulley. For doing that, as you guess, we will use heat again. Please be sure that you install the C-clip before because you can't put it after that. So put it, put it like this. Apply a little bit of grease. Hit this pulley again, 130, 150 degrees. This should be enough. 
Now, be sure that the C clip is in this position. And now, start it back. Be sure that this safety clip snaps into his place. And now we successfully change the bearings to the big pulley. All that we need to do now, install the big pulley onto the engine, install the belt retention and go flying. Mounting the big pulley back onto the engine is pretty straightforward. You just need to slide the eccentric back into its location and be sure that you install it at two o'clock position. Now install eight millimeter bolt that holds the eccentric into place. Install the belt, retention, and that's it. For the correct installation and retentioning of the belt, please be sure that you check the video where we showed you how to replace and retention the belt. I will add the link to that video in the description down below. After mounting the big pulley assembly back to the engine, tension the belt to the correct specifications, now we successfully changed the big pulley bearings and you should be stress-free for the next 100 hours of flying. As in Europe now the winter is settled and you should now check your engine and do the service accordingly to the flying hours that you have on your counter. So please go to the eshop.scottparamotor.com and buy every single spare part that you need because you can find them there very easy and accessible with the next day delivery. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure that you hit the like and subscribe button because we'll have a lot more videos to come where we will do a complete service to this engine showing you how to replace every single spare part that you need to change it 50 100 200 hours see you in the next one ciao